Very excited to let you get a chance to meet Rowan Triplett from Ada. Awesome weather kid. Let's go ahead. I caught up with him earlier at Luther Family Ford. Here's that now. Hello everyone. I got to tell you what joining us from Luther Family Ford today is a dandy all the way from Ada where he rode his bicycle uphill both ways in the snow is Rowan Triplett. Rowan, tell us and everyone at home a little bit more about yourself. What do you enjoy? What grade are you in? Uh, anything at all that comes to mind? Hello, my name is Rowan. I am 12 years old and I'm in sixth grade at Ada Borob High School. An interesting fact about myself is that I like to garden and gardening is largely determined by how the weather is, making it an important field of science to understand among all growers. Oh, isn't that the truth, Rowan? Uh, a lot of people who are interested in the, the weather, as a matter of fact, work outside and rely on that weather, whether it's uh, in construction or agriculture or gardening, such as you. And I don't hear a lot from a lot of sixth graders that they like to garden. What's your favorite season, Rowan, of the year? Uh, I like fall and winter. They're kind of on an equal scale because fall, because that's when we harvest, and winter, because I love snow. Wonderful. Hey, did you have a quick question for Hutch before we get started? Uh, yeah. What's the difference between a positive and negative phase uh, Arctic Oscillation? I know they have something to do with how air pressure shapes over the poles and the equator, but I don't know what effect it has on the overall weather. That's an amazing question for a sixth grader. And one thing that climatologists are studying is how little changes in one part of the globe impact weather everywhere else. And what we're realizing is that that is indeed the case, where a small change uh, in the region that we watch for El Nino and La Nina can take place. In the Arctic, uh, indeed, once we get a negative phase, that uh, polar low is a little bit weaker. And uh, that does change the track of the jet stream over North America. And that impacts your weather and how easy or hard it is to garden. Uh, but sometimes it's different and those oscillations interact with other oscillations like the El Nino, which makes things a lot more complicated. Hey, do you have the forecast for all your friends and uh, family and Ada as they head out the door in the morning on their way to work or school? Uh, on your way to school, it will be 30 degrees and sunny, which is a comparatively nice morning to the weather we've been having the past week. Very observative, Rowan. How about the after school forecast? Uh, when you're heading home from school and work, it will be 51 degrees and it will be a little breezy, but there will be sun out, so hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> Rowan, I gotta tell you, you seem like you've done this not once, but multiple times. What an outstanding job. And why don't you tell me, you like gardening. What's your favorite thing to grow in the garden? Uh, pumpkins, because pumpkins just grow so fast and there's really nothing stopping them. That's awesome. Well, I love the pumpkins at the end of the season, too. They always take fun shapes. Well, thanks for joining us. If you'd like to sign up to have your kid be a weather kid, swing into Luther Family Ford. They'll have a, uh, a form for you to fill out, or you can log on to valleynewslive.com anytime. Uh, go to the contest tab, pull down, you'll see the weather kid contest there. And Rowan, thanks again so much. What an incredible job of speaking you're doing. I think that uh, you have a future, young man. Also, Rowan told Hutch he wants to be a meteorologist later in life. So fantastic job, Rowan. You can do it.